I am Ferdi, director of the Ouch Studio. So we won a couple of awards like a Red Dot Design Award, ADS Award, German Design Award, International Design Award, and uh, I'll say Design Award from Seoul, Germany, Los Angeles, New York, and all that awards actually are so prestige. Last 15 years, we, we already created more than 75 art pieces around the world for 75 cities and countries. We're trying to integrate art, science, and technology inside of the public spaces. Uh, the team consists of very talent from AI artists, engineers, academicians, coders, uh, data scientists, uh, and all that people sing one vision for making the hybrid public art. We are using the high-level audiovisual technology. We already use every type of the audiovisual technology, like XR, VR, uh, the LED projectors. And also, uh, the, we, we already created the different type of the AI models made by Python coding. And we're trying to create our own genre with the experiential techniques. Yes, we are using the high-level technology, but we are not technology-based studio, actually, we are idea-based. So it means the idea always comes first, and we, we try and make it happen to that idea according to the exist technology. But generally, we had to hack the technology for making happen to the, that idea. The poetic way is that we, we, are, we are using the data, but we are not making the data visualization. Actually, we are using the data for the art purposes. So it means we have the same mindset like a 500 years ago painters but right now our tools are very different so we're trying to investigate what is that meaning to be an artist in 21 century with the ai and technology that 14 years that our main motto is the data as a paint algorithm as a brush and also ai as a collaborator for that, uh, for that things, actually, we're trying to discover to the intersection of the multidimensional worlds as a hybrid environment, and that the, the, redefines the future of the art. And basically, actually, it means also new media. I can give today a couple of examples from the, the, the our projects. The one of them, this one, is the, we converted, we transformed to the world tallest building uh, as a data sculpture using the real-time data from the Dubai city. And the city became an artist with, the, with the, our, the creative process, actually. And that was the Guinness record because the first time an artist, an artist the, the featured on the Burj Khalifa 12 times. And also we will allow to integrate to the different type of the, the data archived integration there's some of them coming from the underground, some of them coming from the space, some of them coming from the, the brain, or some of them coming from the two subatomic particle collide moments. We had a chance to work with the different type of the art science museum around the world, uh, like a CERN, NASA, Singapore Art Science Museum, or Grand Egyptian Museum. For example, this is our recent collaboration with them. We call it the language of the gods. So right now we are working the new language model uh, with, the, with the Egyptian history. So this is the, one of the, my lifetime dream actually, the, the create the new language model using the, that archaeological data, and specifically uh, the Egyptian history. And last month we, we announced the new project with them, the first permanent digital immersive museum in in Egypt, we will open that this year. But according to the, our, our creation, our motivation is not just to create the living architectural installation, also it might be tool for the scientists. This is the interesting the moment uh, actually between the scientists and us. When we created that kind of the living architectural design with the AI, also that AI can be a tool for the research. So according to the, our model, the, imagine you are the archaeologues and you found, you, you found the, some, the tablets uh, made by stone and some hieroglyphs they disappear because of the time issues and our AI model can fill it and show it in a scientific way. And also that model can find the, some enigmas inside of the 6,000 years, the culture. Uh, 
and also the, the, the they can that model can show the secret relationship between the different time zones. So this is a, this is an interesting also the tool for the archaeologues. But the entire story started with the uh, the 2008, and we created one of the world's biggest air exhibition in Paris. That was the first digital museum in Paris. We created the world's biggest air exhibition with 146 projectors in 3,500 square meter around. That was the that was the interesting experience for us because when we created that kind of the art piece, the heart of the art, especially traditional art, that was the impactful and game-changing behavior for their field. And, and it's like it was so successful project because approximately one million people experienced by tickets, uh, which is a huge capital company made more than 40 million euro around from the, that art piece. And the, we called the poetic AI. According to the art project, we collected data from the famous scientists book like Einstein, Hawking, and Galileo. And guys, at that time, there is no chat GPT, there is, there is no open source NA algorithm when we created that art piece. We collected data, um, like uh, the scientific papers and books, uh, that was the special data archive made by four, uh, 20 million lines books. And our AI algorithm could create their uh, uh, own book with that thing. So the exhibition about the, the that process. But the interesting moment, uh, also, when, when we created that kind of the contemporary art, also the director of the Mission Impossible and Tom Cruise experienced the, our art piece and they wanted to integrate the, the, our art piece inside of the, the latest one, latest version of the Mission Impossible. I don't know, did you check the latest one, the last summer, that was the bad AI guy and created by us, the entity. So we had a chance to work with the Tom Cruise like a three weeks around in London. We built the, a kind of the, the immersive bar inside of the movie and 200 people, the production people. It was it was amazing experience working with that kind of the huge production team during to do that time. By the way, and uh, by the way, if you can if you can wait to the until the the last line of the credit, you can see that our our studio names and uh, our names. So we really love to create uh, the AI uh, art uh, using the different type of technology, but in an architectural way also. So it means uh, it's not just a screen experience. Also, there is an architectural cinematic immersive experience always. Our recent collaboration was um, for, the, for the Abu Dhabi Ministry of Culture. We created a kind of the digital campaign with the opera, Idris Alba and then Vilayam. According to the, our commission artwork, that was the real-time AAG brainwaves AI painting. Uh, and this is the living architectural installation, you can see. So that, that was the interesting moment because we could hack entertainment purposes with the AI and art. There's a sound, by the way. So according to that idea, can we observe that uh, the, the neural, uh, neural activities with the AI with the, as, a, as a painting with the, that uh, sculpture? And the people can observe the, the feelings. We, we are getting to five different data from the brain in real time. And that data represents your attention, tension, meditation, imagination, and creativity at the same time. But it's not the data visualization, actually. The, uh, there's a, another AI algorithm creating the 100 dimensional data from the, that five dimensional data. And it's, it's, a, it's a poetic way you can experience the, your feelings and people can observe. But the, the one of the meaningful projects, actually, it was for the SpaceX. According to the, our idea, can we create an artistic self portrait, portrait of humanity with AI? There is a scientific project, 2016, more than 2,000 institutes came together and their aim, is, their aim was the tracking to the every human cells as a data archive and sharing the, with the scientific community. And they made it actually, more than 32, 37 trillion human cells they could 
prepare a data archive for the scientific community. But we used that data archive for the arts. So that was the, the collaboration with the CERN. We had a chance to work with the world best 16 uh, machine learning professor from NYU, MIT, Harvard. So it's an animation created by the creatives at uh, Studio Arch. And what they did is they took data from uh, the human cell atlas. You're going to hear about it later in the event, uh, especially RNA sequencing data. They fed it into a machine learning system, uh, gave some instructions, and that's what uh, came out, an attempt at describing visually some of the things that we want to talk about uh, today. It's very fitting uh, because we want to talk about data, about big data, about sharing data, about artificial intelligence, and many other things during the course. That, that was the that was the huge complex data, and also we used the, every type of the AI algorithm in the world, T-SYN, GAN, diffusions, and also a different type of the AI classification codes from the studio made by Python coding. But that was the very interesting uh, the, the opportunity that we can observe to the, that micro world as a macro uh, scale installation around the world. We called to the Human Cell Atlas project, and the simul at the same time, we received the invitation from the Institute Machines. Institute Machines uh, is a private company, and their aim is to the, the create the new uh, the art performance in this space. So the, they 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 are they, are, they were trying to, to create a kind of the space uh, installation, surface on the moon. And then the, we, when we received the, that invitation, we created the art piece, the entrance area of the Orlando Space Canada Center. And, and the, that was the Human Cell Atlas project, new version of it. So the, for, the, for the, our art pieces can be resizable and can change the, the skin of the art piece. It might be adaptable for any place, for any, uh, any area. But the thing is that when we created this version, also at the same time, the entire art piece recorded to the one disk with the nanotechnology, each frame. And we put to that disk the, on the SpaceX rocket. Two months ago, two and a half months ago, we sent to that art piece. That was the first digital museum in space. So that's, that's the... That's the Interesting milestone in the art history and contemporary art history, actually. It's never done before. And right now, the that disc uh, the, on the one rack on the surface on the moon. So if you want to see the arch, just look at the sky at the nights. You can see. And exactly the position of the disc right there. There is a different type of the three foundations came together for making happen to that project. And inside of the, that, this entire our art history also inside of that, entire Wikipedia, our DNA codes and everything. We were there, by the way, this is the, one of the, my lifetime dream. You can see that this is the 1972, this is the first moon touch, the second one, 2024. And we had a chance to exhibit to the, that art piece with a different type of outputs, like a VR version, for example. Uh, this is the first time for the Cannes Film Festival, uh, one AI artwork as an official selection inside of the festival. And that's the art piece, by the way.
This is the one of the unforgettable moments from our memories. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you.